The keto diet has become one of the most popular nutrition fads in recent years, with celebrities from Katie Couric to the Kardashians extolling its benefits. But, of course, nothing is perfect and there are keto side effects to be aware of if you're considering the diet. While keto fans swear the diet leads to weight loss, better energy levels, and less cravings, plenty also acknowledge that it comes with some unusual downsides like the keto flu and possible digestive issues. Still, the keto diet requires some careful thought and planning before you can even get to the point where you might experience side effects. The main goal of the keto diet is to put you into a state called ketosis, where your body burns fat for energy instead of the usual carbs, Cordin explains. But, again, that can lead to some side effects. Keto isn't for everyone and some people feel that the potential side effects just aren't worth it. So, what are they and why do they happen? Here's what you need to know. Brace yourself for the keto flu. Keto flu is a real thing. Cutting your carbs to the bone and going into a state of ketosis, where your body burns fat for energy, can bring on a cluster of uncomfortable symptoms, such as headaches, fatigue, muscle aches, nausea, and diarrhea. The side effects are the result of your body transitioning to using fat as its primary source of energy instead of carbs, explains Kristen Mancinelli, MS, RDN, author of The Ketogenic Diet. Once it adapts to the new fuel source, usually within a week or two, you'll start to feel better. Your mood can fluctuate. When you're on a low-carb diet you may not be getting the carbohydrates needed to produce serotonin, a brain chemical that helps regulate mood, as well as sleep and appetite. Two other factors that can mess with your disposition, says Laura Yu, RD, registered dietitian and nutrition therapist certified intuitive eating counselor based in New York City. Initial weight loss might not stick. The keto diet is notorious for delivering a quick initial slim down. That's because carbs hold on to more water than protein or fat, says Becky Kirkenbush, RD, a clinical dietitian at Watertown Regional Medical Center. So when you stop eating them, all that extra H2O gets released through urination. As a result, the scale might read a few pounds lower, and you may look a bit leaner. That first drop might be mostly water weight. But research suggests that the keto diet is good for fat loss, too. An Italian study of nearly 20,000 obese adults found that participants who ate keto lost around 12 pounds in 25 days. However, there aren't many studies looking at whether the pounds will stay off long-term, researchers note. Most people find it tough to stick with such a strict eating plan, and if you veer off your diet, the pounds can easily pile back on. Constipation could be just around the corner. Constipation is a common side effect of low-carb eating plans, including the ketogenic diet. Severely curbing your carb intake means saying goodbye to high-fiber foods like whole grains, beans, and a large proportion of fruits and vegetables, says Ginger Hulte, MS, RDN, Seattle-based nutritionist and spokesperson for the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics. Combine that with the fact that your body is excreting more water, and you have a potential recipe for clogged pipes. You can keep things moving by getting some fiber from keto-friendly foods like avocado, nuts, and limited portions of non-starchy vegetables and berries, says David Nico, PhD, author of Diet Diagnosis. Or, diarrhea could be just around the corner. When we eat foods with fat, our liver releases bile into the digestive system to help break it down. Following a high-fat diet like keto means that the liver needs to release extra bile, and bile is natural laxative, so too much can loosen stool and speed up how fast it moves through your system, leading to diarrhea. Keto breath may have you reaching for breath mints. When your body goes into ketosis, it will start to produce byproducts called ketones. This includes acetone, yes, the same chemical found in nail polish remover, which your body actually naturally makes on its own, according to a 2015 review of research. One of the ways ketones are released from the body is through exhaling, and breath usually has a distinct odor that's different than the common bad breath experienced when there's a buildup of bacteria in the mouth. Your cravings could intensify. Cutting out carbs can cause the brain to release a chemical calling uropeptide Y, NPY, which tells the body that we need carbs. When we don't get those carbohydrates our body needs, this chemical builds up and can intensify cravings, which can increase the risk of developing disordered eating patterns like binge eating. It has nothing to do with not having enough willpower, it's more to do with the body's biological response to deprivation. You'll need to drink a lot more water. 
Don't be surprised if you find yourself parched while you're on the keto diet. Excreting all that extra water will likely cause a spike in thirst, so make it a point to drink up. There's no hard and fast recommendation for how much water you should be having on a keto diet. But in general, aim to drink enough so your urine is clear or pale yellow. If it's any darker, bump your intake. And you may develop clearer skin. Plagued by pimples. You may start to notice a difference in your skin on the keto diet, especially if you were a former sugar addict. Consuming lots of empty carbs is linked to worse acne, in part because these foods trigger inflammation and signal the release of hormones that up the production of pore clogging oils, according to a review published in the Journal of the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics. Some findings suggest that curbing your carb intake could help solve these problems, improving your skin as a result. But beware of stressing your kidneys. The kidneys play an important role in metabolizing protein, and it's possible that eating too much of the nutrient can have a negative impact on kidney function. While ketogenic diets are supposed to be much higher in fat than they are in protein, many keto eaters make the mistake of loading up on lots of meat. The result? You could end up eating way more protein than you actually need. Here's the tricky part, there's no definitive answer for how much protein you'd have to eat before you run into trouble. It really depends on how much protein a person is consuming versus how much they need, as well as the health of their kidneys at baseline. That's why it can be helpful to speak with a nutritionist or doctor who can help you tailor your diet before going keto. Your heart disease risk factors could change. Eating an ultra-low carb diet is linked to a lower rate of obesity, along with improved HDL cholesterol, all of which can translate to a lower risk for heart disease but your heart health might depend on what you actually eat. Research published in the New England Journal of Medicine suggests that low-carb diets based mostly on plant sources of fat and protein, like avocados or nuts, can lower heart disease risk by 30%. But those benefits didn't hold for people who ate mostly animal-based proteins and fats. Something like bacon, butter, and steak. Ultimately, keto may not be for you. Some side effects are worse than others, and your body simply may not be okay with going on a keto diet. If you have consistent constipation, diarrhea, or vomiting, you may want to take on another diet as your body, in its current state, cannot handle what is happening to it. Eating a keto diet can have some short-term health perks. But in the long run, it also has the potential to create some serious health problems. That's why many experts say you shouldn't attempt it on your own. In general, if a person follows a ketogenic diet, they should only do so for a brief time and under close medical supervision. Thank you for watching our video. We hope you found it informative and helpful. If you have any further questions or would like more information on the topic, please don't have a great day. Hesitate to reach out. We appreciate your support and look forward to creating more content for you in the future. Have a great day.